Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in today's video I'm going to show you the best domestic sewage treatment plants you can buy. Now this is a lot easier than you may think. Why? Because you've got two types of domestic sewage treatment plants to choose from. You've got electric domestic sewage treatment plants and non domestic electric sewage treatment plants. So which is the best out of the two, electric or non-electric? So let's start with the first category, electric domestic sewage treatment plants. What are the pros and the cons of this particular type of system? Well, if you type domestic sewage treatment plant into Google, you'll get something that comes up like this. It's a page full of hundreds and thousands of different types of electric sewage treatment plants. And so um, in this instance, you really can't see the wood for the trees. So the pros, well, there's plenty of them to choose from. So what about the cons? Well, here's an inside of an electric sewage treatment plant. And you'll notice quite a few things. For example, you'll notice at the top here, it's got a compressor. There's wires. If we move down below, you've got a shaft with cogs and pulleys and bearings on. And these cogs basically rotate all the time like so. And so you'll notice that the poo water here makes its way on top or on top of the shaft into the cogs there. And as the cogs turn around, the poo water will um, make its way to the first compartment, which you can see here. All right, so that's the poo water with all the fat and the grease and the sludge in. Now, as these cogs turn, it creates an aerobic process. And in turn, that treats the water, uh, which ends up in the second compartment. And then from there, the clean water is discharged into a watercourse or the soil. So that's how it works. But if we take a closer look, you'll see <clears throat> in amongst all this water and moisture, you've got electrics, you've got belts, you've got pulleys, you've got motors, you've got bearings, you've got cogs, you've got all kinds of things inside it. So why is that a con? Well, it's a negative for quite a few reasons. Number one, they need an electricity supply to run them because they're electrical, right? Hence the name. They are expensive to install. You need um, an electrician to do it and you need a specialized company with specialist knowledge to install one of these. Number two, they cost about a thousand pounds a year to run. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. The electricity, even on the small ones, right? So is about at least six, 700 quid a year in, ele in electricity bills. And that's the small one. So if you look at, you've got a small, you've got a medium, you've got a large, it can cost you anywhere from 700 to a thousand pounds a year in electricity costs. That's 10,000 pounds over 10 years. On top of that, right, you've got the price you paid for the system. So, you know, over 15, over 10 years, you know, it could cost, this thing could cost you like 15, 20,000 quid, you know, to buy and run. These systems only come with one year's warranty on the moving parts, on the, on the motors, on the compressors, on the shafts and the pulleys. Why? Because they're in a, 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 an environment that's full of moisture and water. And if the belts or the pulleys or the part, uh, shafts go, they're really, really expensive to, 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 to fix. I mean, I've changed the shaft on some of these systems and you're looking at a minimum two, three thousand quid, you know, to replace them. That's almost the price of a new system. So what about non-electric treatment plants? What are the pros of owning one of these systems? Well, there's no electricity supply and they're very, very cheap and easy to install. Let me show you what I mean. So here's an example of a really popular non-electric sewage treatment plant. It's called the Ecosystem. It's government approved and they're made in Germany. So let me show you how they work and why they're so popular. So here you've got, you've got two tanks under the ground. Now there's no electrics 
<laughs> at all with these systems. So in the first tank, you get um, all the fat and the grease and the sludge and the poo. And it's all contained in there. And basically, bacteria and enzymes break down all that horrible debris, the fat, the grease and the sludge. And they convert it into safe, clean um, mineral water, right? And on top of the unit um, in the second tank, you'll notice there's holes in the lid and that sucks and draws air in. It's a process called venturi suction. And um, you'll notice there's a little vent on the second tank there and that exhales the CO2. So it's like an organic lung. So these don't make a noise. They don't smell. Um, they're really, really easy to install. And as I said, they're backed and approved by the UK government. So what are some of the... the um, the advantages to owning one of these kind of ecosystem non-electric sewage treatment plants. Well, as I said, there's no electricity supply. So that makes them really cheap and easy to install. Secondly, they cost zero pence a year to run, right? So that's zero pence, right, over 10 years. They come with a, a lifetime warranty. Um, which means basically they never break down. They can't break down. They've got no mechanical or electrical parts inside them. And because they're eco-friendly and they don't break down, that means they never smell. You've got no servicing. You've got no maintenance and you've got no repair costs. So, yes, you could call me biased. But for me, these ecosystem non-electric sewage treatment plants are the future. And that is one reason why they're so popular. OK, so in conclusion, which is the best uh, domestic sewage treatment plant? Well, as I've said, you've got two types. You've got the electric sewage treatment plants and you've got non-electric sewage treatment plants. Now, call me biased if you want. And I admit I am biased, but anything with compressors in, anything with cogs and gears and motors and shafts and belts and bearings, that is contained in, 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 in an envir environment full of moisture and bacteria, it doesn't make any sense to me. Any system that runs on electricity, right, that can break down, that costs a thousand quid a year to run, that only comes with a year warranty, again, doesn't make any sense to me. So um, it's not a case of demonizing um, electric sewage treatment plants because there's some very good ones out there. But when you compare this system to these organic, non-electric domestic sewage treatment plants that don't run on electricity, that don't make a noise, they don't smell, they don't break down, and they cost you nothing to run. So yes, call me biased, but for me, these ecosystems are a no-brainer. So in conclusion then, for me, and for, I suppose for anyone else who looks into it, does a bit of research and looks at it objectively, the best sewage treatment plant, if you look at it pound for pound, right, over one year, over 10 years, then it's obvious that non-electric sewage treatment plants are the future. So there we go. I hope, uh, I hope that tip helped you. And if you'd like to see more tips to do with septic tanks or sewage treatment plants and just visit my site septictank.co.uk or if you go to my youtube channel which is septic tank tv and you subscribe to it you could be in with a chance to win a free non-electric ecosystem domestic sewage treatment plant so listen thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video you take care and i'll speak to you soon for more information just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.